YouTube friends and family. I see that I have some new people here. So if you have not watched me and you're new to the channel, my name is JC. I am an almost 50 year old single mom, of one high schooler. And I am here with gardening content. I do gardening in an HOA. And I also do hauls. I'm a dollar general queen. And me and my, I divorced the Dollar Tree, but we've been creeping back there. So that video is coming up and I'm filming. I film a lot in one day, so you will see the same clothes a lot. But I do have garden content, shopping hauls, cooking, budget, uh, meals, all kinds of stuff. I even got a pineapple cream cheese pound cake that really is doing well. That video is doing very well. So I have garden stuff. Garden stuff that you won't suspect in places you won't be able to, you know, normally don't frequent, but I found them. Okay, so tractor supply, some tractor supply stores now have a garden center. I did a short with my walkthrough. I'm going to link that above, but I did buy a few things. I spent 39 bucks. Everything I bought is not being shown in the hall because it's already been used in outside. But. I've been wanting some hydrangea. I'm not one for spending 30 bucks unless it's a fruit tree. So that's what they run about 24 to $30. But when I saw this, had the leaves on it, and it's a hydrangea, and I, I, it was, I had trouble picking a color. I really did. But it was only $6.99 at the, at the tractor supply. This is what I'm going to do. I got a little bit of a green thumb, so I'm going to work with this $6.99 versus spending $25. I've been wanting one of those, and I kind of know where I want to put it. So, I'm also looking for the clearance. Those eyes are appealed for clearance, clearance, clearance. And this was just this week. It's March the 20. It was March 22nd, 21st this week. I'm in there, I think it was Friday, I'm in there just looking, being nosy. I went for one thing called $6.99, I ended up spending $39.99, but again, I'm always peeled on the clearance. I also showed you the fruit trees, I could have bought a fruit tree for what I spent, and a pretty big fruit tree, their fruit trees are almost six feet already, so they're ready to, to give you some fruit. Um, for the $38.99, which is a very good price. So, go there before you go to Home Depot and Lowe's, because they, theirs can get up to $75. Um, so, I found this. Regular $12.99. You see that? $3.29 each. Regular $12.99. We gardeners can always use fertilizer. This is an all-purpose, so this is for food and flowers. Three twenty-nine. I wouldn't care if it was outdated, cause it still works. Use a little bit more. So I bought three of these. So that was almost that was ten bucks right there. Bought three of those, and then I found this new product. So we all got flower beds and stuff. Again, I'm in an HOA, so we gotta keep our stuff tight and right around here. And cleaning out flower beds, killing the weeds and the flower beds. So I said, I'm going to give this a try. Now, you know I'm good. I'm good for calling the company and getting my money back. If I didn't buy it at Costco, because Costco, I'll take the empty container back. Be like, this didn't work. No, no, sir, I need my money back. But I want to try this. Weed and grass, because I have, you know, my supposed to be rock bed has a lot of weed and grass. This is a good direct shot foaming spray. That's what they advertise. That's what it better do. Or I will be calling the number on the back. 1-800-917-5438. And getting my $5 back. So we're going to see if this works. But it was $5 and something. And I hope I'm able to find my receipt. Because as I'm shooting this video, I could not find it. But, um, yeah. I'm going to give this a try. See if it works. I already have some weed killer that I bought on clearance. 
But I want to try that because it looks a little more potent and it will stick to the spot and really truly kill the grass and the weeds that I'm trying to kill. So, I, um, that was it for that. But I bought three of those bags, so that was part of the total. So, I was also looking for flowers that I did not have. I really want to draw the pollinators. I want to bring them pollinators to the yard. That is a mission. You cannot have a successful garden without the pollinators. Plus, I want the beauty. Those flowers are pretty. I'm going to stop being, you know, a little fancy and actually bringing some of these in and putting them in the house. You know, the flowers and making it look pretty and bringing a little more joy into this wretched, wretched world. I want something pretty to look at. Just to remind me, it's still some God out here. It's still some God out here. So, I found these, which is the English Daisy. And I bought all container varieties because I got a little landscape design plan. And I pretty much execute these things that go on in my head when it comes to the yard. We got a lot of work to do. It's spring break. We've been doing a lot of work, but we still not done. I know cameraman's glad he's going back to school. But this is the English Daisy Dwarf Mixed Colors. This is flowers I know I don't have. Then we have Columbine McKenna's Mixed Colors. Aren't those just beautiful? And then we have, and all you see all of these say, Look for this. Well, this one doesn't say, this doesn't say container, but I was also looking for a shade mix because they're going in a shady area. And I like the way Fairy Morris did this to their seeds. See right there, it says shade mix, and it tells you if it's for containers. So be on the lookout for that when you are buying seeds, just, just based on what you're going to do. And this is the part shade, and it's a Johnny Jump Up. And I'm going to name this. This is in honor of my daddy. Okay. So Johnny Jump Up. And Container Variety Shade Mix. And then the other one. Now Marigold's been popping up all over the place. I bought those Marigolds from last year. I want to say they like a French variety. I don't know why I went and bought another French variety. But yeah, I did. So, oh, oh, I know why. Because these are 35 days. I also look at the number of days. I'm putting these down. I need them for, you know, pest control in my garden. So, I also look at the fact how long it's going to take me to get the flowers. So, this is a full sun mix container 35 days. Marigold Dwarf Bolero. So that's going to add a lot of pop of color and draw the pollinators and hopefully fight the pests. So we have this many seeds. That's all I got. Uh, Y'all see my seed hauls have been going down, down, down because I'm working with what I have too. So I also want to throw in another little mini seed haul in this video for you that I've been waiting. And I might also do it as a short for a haul in a minute with all of those packs just to show you but now here's one of my little receipts let's see i gotta keep up with my receipts because i do fetch them just got me a 25 30 dollar gift card that i use for my kitchen aid meat grinder if you haven't checked out that series of one piece of meat for a week take a look at it so i went to ace the helpful hardware place I went there and I got some jewel nasturtiums and you see the price on these are $2.19 and sorry if it's backwards but I can't figure this camera out. So I got some jewel nasturtiums. I got some golden beets. I'm loving the beets for my juicing. You know I juice here and there. I'm slowing down but I need to pick it back up because it made a difference in my life for real. I got some old white kohlrabi. This is the most tender, delicious vegetable. If you haven't checked out my kohlrabi hash, oh my gosh, I love this. I love it, love it, love it. So I want to produce an abundance. Then 
I got a Olympia spinach. Now, if you see at the top, it says slow to bolt in that orange stripe. I'm in zone 9A Florida. I'm looking at stuff that does not bolt in this heat that's about to come on us fast. So, that's what I'm doing. And I have never seen this seed, have you? Hickama. Hickama is a good uh, french fry substitute, potato substitute, keto starch substitute. And I'm excited to see if I can grow this and, you know, use it, make french fries in the air fryer, things like that, roasted root vegetable. Hickama. So that's my seed haul from Ace. It was like Aces are kind of locally owned. You can like franchise those. So it was a smaller franchise store, franchise store on Normandy here in Jacksonville, Florida. But I'm sure all the Ace have the same seed suppliers. I'm real excited about this Olympia spinach because of the slow to boat. So that's my seed haul. That's my outdoor hardware haul. The other thing that I went there to get was leaf scoops. Leaf scoops. Now, I got about two minutes, but I want to say this. What happened to the little boys that used to go around the neighborhood and say they want to rake your yard for $20? Now, I know it would be more than $20 at this point, but I ran into a neighbor and she was like, do you know anybody? I said, me and my son will do it. I'm trying to teach him to. I'm not too good to get out and rake somebody else's yard, neither are you. That lady paid us $70 to rake her front yard. She was that appreciative. So what is up with, what are y'all doing to these kids? What? Because there's no way. They can't get out here and earn a little bit of their own cash to spend. And I'm like, I know I'm messing up too because I've given him everything. He already had uh, about $60. And then I added to that because we split that money. Both of us worked. I'm not finna give it all to you. So we split that down the middle. But what happened to the kids who used to do this? We walked around and did it for $5. $10. Because we were in a different 80s, not 80s time period when that was a good little bit of money. But even now, it's like, where are these kids? What are we doing? So sit back and think on that. I like to give you something to think about. Prep and pray and start back raising these kids. Thank you so much for watching. Plant a seed, plant a seed, plant a seed. I love you to life. You have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.